it now, sir. It's coming in from the northwest. It's coming down fast. Looks like it'll land somewhere in the Crestline Hill. Right, we'll handle it. Off and clear. I'm going to fly out there. Help me with the suit, Ted. Right, let's go. The missile is now at 4 3,000. 4 3,000. Course 145. 145. You'll never get there before it lands. Maybe not, but I should be able to pick it up anyway. Stand by your radios. I may need help. Right. Dr. Varney, you're exactly on schedule. A ruler assured me his timing would be exact. I'm Lenato. Put on this coat. We don't want to attract unwelcome attention. include the conquest of the entire planetary system. And since Commando Cody's cosmic dust blanket has prevented our reduction of this planet by the usual guided missile bombardment, we must have a rocket fleet capable of blasting its way through your atmosphere. And we can do that with this. Commando. Did you find it? What's left of it? It's a very small rocket on fire now. Pick up a fire truck and get out here as soon as you can. Just stay on the Crest Line Road until you see the fire. Right. Here's the Venustrium. It must be a very remarkable element. It is somewhat similar to your uranium. Atomic power developed from it is more easily controlled, but not as long-lasting as power from a uranium base. So I understand. If we can develop an atomic pile using a combination of these two elements, we'll have a power plant far ahead of anything now known. Are you sure Commando Cody has the proper facilities for the work we have to do? He must have. He built his own atomic-powered rocket. Yes, I know. The ruler told me about his flights into outer space. Besides being Sky Marshal of the universe, he must be a most gifted scientist. Undoubtedly. No one knows who he really is. For reasons of personal security, he hides his identity behind a mask, even while working with his own assistants. Have you been able to arrange an interview with him? Yes. I had to secure forged credentials for the both of us. Commando appeared interested, and I'm sure if we gain his confidence, he'll let us work with him. Good. This is very interesting, gentlemen. Would you mind telling me what this material is? It's a new element never before found on Earth. We extracted it from a meteor we discovered in the desert east of Graphite. You made a very important discovery, gentlemen. And we certainly appreciate your bringing it to us. Thank you. We would like very much to follow through with the adaptation of this new element. Do you think it would be possible for us to work with you? Our work here is strictly top secret. However, it's up to Mr. Henderson. I don't believe there should be any objection. Then we can go right ahead. Where will we work? The preliminary work will be done here in my laboratory. If you'll come back tomorrow morning, we'll be all ready to start. Good. We'll be here. Right after. Joan, put this in the safe. Anything new on that rocket that landed last night? Not yet. Ted is still out there investigating. How could it have penetrated that cosmic dust? I'm not sure. 
It was a very small ship. In fact, that's what worries me most. I can't believe that a rocket that small could possibly have come from another planet. Then where could it come from? The mad scientist may have rocket launching bases hovering just outside our field of gravity. If that's true, you'll have to take your rocket on a patrol of space as quickly as possible. I intend to. But first, I'm going to try Dr. Varney's new element in our atomic pile. If it works, it will greatly increase our speed and range of operation. to do is see if it works. Well, there's no reason why it shouldn't. The test flight is set for tomorrow morning. I'll pick you up at 10 o'clock. We'll be ready. Goodbye. Goodbye. Activity sufficiently to allow us to get through. 225,000 feet. Okay, level off. We'll just cruise around easy for a while. Yes. What is it? It's the ejector valve for cooling the atomic pile system. That valve must have been open too far. The exhaust vapors have condensed and partially closed the outlet through the hull. Can't you shut it off? No. Without an exhaust outlet, the pile chamber would explode in a matter of seconds. That's as far as I dare close it. But what can we do? We've got to clear that vent somehow. Maybe I can do it from here. I've got to pull a plug in the ejector to clear the vent. Cut your rate of heat exchange as low as possible. Watch the pressure in the atomic pile chamber. It's too high already. 2,500. I know. I've closed the valve a little, and I've got to close it all the way for a few seconds. We'll take a chance on the pressure at 3,000. If it hits that, sing out. You say so. He's cutting it awfully close. twice as much as it was from uranium alone. You gentlemen are certainly to be congratulated for your discovery of that element. It was your combining it with uranium which made it practical. 
All right. Make your arrangements at once. It was an expensive bit of bribery, but that man is a trusted employee at the refinery. He will have no difficulty in getting us all the uranium we need. Good. Our mission is practically accomplished. Come. We'll report to the ruler. Very well. This is Lenato on Earth. ship will enable us to build ships smaller than his and capable of passing through the cosmic dust like it that protects Earth. There is still the problem of getting past the guards around Commando's rocket. I have a plan to overcome that difficulty. Will it interfere with your plans? Not at all. In fact, it will make our problem much easier. SO2 plus H2SO4 you. Dr. Varney, Professor Lenato, how are you? Commander Cody just left. Yes, I know. But you will do very nicely. Come with us. But I don't understand. You don't need to. All we ask is your assistance in getting past the guards on Commando's rocket ship. Come at once, please. Call that guard post. Tell them to pass us and the truck through. Calling guard post number one. Calling guard post number one. Post number one. This is Ted Richards. We're coming in with Commando's car and a truckload of supplies for the rocket. Clears with the other guard post. Yes, sir. Sending. I did it. Calling Commando Cody. Calling Commando. Calling Commando. Hello, Ted. Come in. Barney and Lenardo are stealing your rocket. They have us handcuffed here in the car at the airfield. They're loading something into the rocket. It looks like they're about to take off. I'll get there as fast as I can. You drive the car onto some side road and leave it. I got you. Here are the keys. Gil, you pick them up in the truck. Right, boss.
now. is functioning perfectly. at the top of the ship and come in through the decompression chamber hatch. to come with us. Where are you going? Back to my own planet, with all the uranium we need for our own rocket fleet. Perhaps you really would prefer to go with us. It would be of considerable help to us in piloting this ship and in building power plants for our own rocket fleet. And what if I refuse? We will simply throw you overboard when we're out of Earth's field of gravity. You won't fall. You will simply float around in space from now on. You don't give me much choice. I can't be of much help to you with my hands tied. You can manage. Just keep an eye on things and let us know what needs to be done. Seems to be working all right so far. Close the valve a little. That didn't help. The pressure's up to 2,500 and still climbing. You fixed it once. Will you be able to do it again if I free your hands? I can do it better from the outside with my flying suit on. No, we can't trust you that far. I'm afraid we'll have to.
What's wrong? I'm off my course. The port steering jet doesn't seem to be working. The port steering jet isn't working. I know, I just put it out. All you can do is circle around in space until I decide to start that jet again. Very well. What are your terms? That you return to Earth as my prisoners. It's either that or circle around in space, and as you say, from now on. You win. Your own guns, too. back to Earth, Dr. Barney. Aren't you going outside to fix that jet? No. Couldn't be controlled from in here. Might as well relax, Professor. Did you ever find out what planet Lenato came from? No, and Dr. Barney claims he doesn't know. And I'm inclined to believe him. Whatever planet it is, it's probably the same one that those scrambled radio messages come from. Maybe and maybe not. But we can be sure we have a powerful enemy someplace in our planetary system. True. And the failure of just one scheme isn't likely to stop his aggression. There'll still be plenty of work for Commando Cody.